Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Super Duty. So uh, we are working our way through uh, the different trims for the Super Duty, our complete guide videos where we cover all the standard equipment, as well as the different optional packages and and uh, also optional equipment uh, in this one video. We're working on the XLT video for this week, or for this video, I should say. And so we're going to be covering all this information. So if you like information like this or want to stay updated on news and information, you probably like our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So we are going to talk about this now. Uh, we're going to, uh, of course, jump in and talk about mechanical features, the safety features, all the exterior interior features that are standard, and then we'll talk a little about the different packages. Check the timestamps down below. This will be a very lengthy video. I'll probably say it's going to be close to about an hour. Uh, very lengthy video, but use the timestamps to move around the video. Find the content that you're interested in and looking for. Packages maybe you're not interested in, you can fast forward through, go to the next one. So feel free to use that to move around in the video and it'll help you out. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Talk about some of these mechanical features first. So now let's talk about some of the mechanical features and we're gonna talk about cab configurations, everything else here within this section, as well as engines, all kinds of stuff here. When we're talking about some of the mechanical uh, functional features and what to do this, we're gonna go over to Ford's website. So Ford.com here and we can go to trucks and vans go to super duties you can do this on your phone as well if you want hit build and price and so you, there we go so we have 18 different model configurations available until we start selecting different things now let's go ahead and look for we're talking about the xlt trim hustler what is it available in f250 it's available and you notice it took out some of those models so it's available in f250 f350 and f450 now f250 uh it's available in the regular cab as you can see there, last configuration for the regular cab uh, for the F-250. Super cab, it's available, and, and the crew cab, of course. Now, when we look at the F-350, it's available in regular cab, super cab, and crew cab. And then if we look at the 350 dually, again, available in regular cab, super cab, and crew cab. But when we go to the F-450, it's available in regular cab, not available in the super cab configuration can't get that super cab and then you get the crew cab so those are your configurations that are available for this uh so i kind of wanted to let you know that of course bed configurations you have a couple different dualies are all going to be eight foot beds regular cabs will be eight foot beds you go to super cabs and crew cab you'll have availability of either the six and three quarter bed or the eight foot bed just so you know that configuration we are going to go to f250 because we actually want to see images of this stuff uh crew cabs some of the regular cabs you can see no images so we're going to go to crew cab so that we can actually be able to look at this thing and see it so there we go uh, now go down to powertrain we'll talk a little bit about this these are only available in four by four on the xlt if you're wanting two-wheel drive got to stick to xl uh xlt and above are all only available in the 4x4 configuration. Talk about the engine. Standard engine on this is the gas engine, 7.3 liter uh, gas engine on most configurations, F250s and F350s. Uh, but when we do go to the F450, it'll be standard in the 6.7 liter um, power stroke diesel engine, the standard diesel. We do have a new high output. That'll be optional in about all configurations. Uh, F450 will get come standard with the diesel engine, though. Also, all of them will come standard with the 10-speed uh, torque shift, 10-speed automatic transmission with selectable drive modes. You have a normal, you have an eco, slippery, and you have a tall tow haul mode. Power steering also is going to be standard equipment. And let's talk about alternators for a second. Uh, doesn't mention it in here. Standard alternator on these is going to be a 190 amp alternator for your gas engines. And if you do have the stand uh, F uh, the F450, it'll come standard with the 250 amp alternator. So all your diesels will always come with the 250 amp alternator. Talk about your axles. Of course, your F250s and F350s will come in a monotune uh, or monotune mono beam uh, front axle with coil. Uh, coil spring suspension, the narrow track, and then your 450s and your dualies will come in a mono beam uh, front axle with coil spring suspension on the wide track, of course. Um, and then we do have the uh, rear axle on the F250s and 350 will be a non-limited slip rear axle. F450s will be a 430 limited slip axle will be standard. We'll talk about axle ratios. Uh, when we get to optional equipment, we'll talk more about some of those configurations that are available here for you when we get to that part. 
for your batteries your gases will come with a 78 amp single battery your diesels will come with a dual battery 68 amp for those now let's talk about fuel tanks as well uh, we do have for the gas engines 34 gallon fuel tank for everything other than your crew cab long beds uh, crew cab long beds will come in a 48 gallon fuel tank for the diesels, you do have a 29-gallon fuel tank for 142-inch wheelbase. That's your regular cab. And also your 148-inch wheelbase, which is your super cab short bed. We look at the diesels. Uh, we do have a 34-gallon fuel tank option from the diesels for 160-inch wheelbase, which is a crew cab short bed, and 164-inch wheelbase, which is a super cab long bed. And then all, all of long beds, whether it be diesel or gas, is going to have a 48-gallon fuel tank for the crew cab long beds. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then, of course, we do have front stabilizer bar, heel start assist, uh, traction control. You do have uh, roll stability control, and the shocks are going to be heavy-duty gas shocks for this. So that's all the mechanical features. Let's talk about a few uh, safety features, and there are some that are, are standard on this that's not uh, standard on the XL. So let's go and dive into some of those safety features. Let's talk about some safety features. And uh, First, on the uh, for airbags. Dual-stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also, you do have side impact airbags that deploys for if you have that side collision from those front seats. Uh, also, safety or side curtain airbags, so with rollover sensors. So if you're gonna that vehicle is gonna roll over, it's gonna deploy the airbags on the side, help protect from breaking glass coming inside the vehicle. Also, you do have advanced track with roll stability control. Uh, so hopefully the goal on that is to keep you on your intended path. Use a series of brakes on the vehicle uh, to kind of keep you going where you need to. I know slick driving uh, situations, maybe going to the curve too fast, that kind of thing. You do have the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children, for those in the rear seat, all those uh, seats back there for super cab and the, the crew cabs. Uh, for the regular cab, as well as I believe even on the super cab, that front passenger seat will also have the latch system. So that way you secure those uh, safety car seats down into those seats, whether it be front or rear facing car seats. Also, you do have the secure lock, passive and the theft system, basically means the coded key can only start the vehicle. So when you shut it off, it automatically locks the steering column. Unless you have the right, correct coded key that you put in to start it, it will not start the vehicle. You also get SOS post crash alert system that honks the horns, flashes lights if you're in an accident on the side of the road. And you get 911 assist. So if you enable your Bluetooth enabled phone in there, uh, of course, make sure you uh, confirm the 911 assist. So if you're in an accident and maybe you're not able to get to your phone, that kind of thing, the system will actually ask you if you would like to call 911 directly and it'll allow you to do that. Also, you do get pre collision assist with automatic emergency braking, includes front collision warning. So if your car is going much slower than you, you're going to come up behind them. If you would hit them, it's going to alert you. Series of uh, tones you need to stop. Also, go ahead and puts a um, message on the the productivity screen letting you know that as well and then it preloads those brakes so they'll break even faster when you're ready to uh, press those brakes so that's all of our safety features let's talk about the styling on this now all right we're going to start talking about the uh, exterior styling of the vehicle now and we're going to start with talking about the colors here we're going to use this uh, for images as well so we do have a gate black metallic as available we do have race red oxford white iconic silver there we go. Or no, that's stone gray metallic is next. Uh, rapid red. There we go. Tinted clear coat. That is an extra. That's $500. And people ask why. Because it is a tinted clear coat. Uh, and so that way, that's why it's a little extra. And then here, I think, is the iconic silver metallic. We do have antimatter blue metallic. And then we have carbonized gray metallic. So all those are no cost color other than the rapid red if you're wanting that color. Now let's talk about the uh, rest of the uh, features here on the grill itself. It, you'll notice the grill is similar to the XL grill. So you do have kind of a black grill, but with the silver accents on the grill there. So bright chrome uh, there accents. So it looks pretty cool. Also your headlights, quad beam halogen with dual effect here on your headlights as well. Nice big headlight to brighten up that road. You do have auto high beam or automatic headlights, which means if you have an auto setting, the command automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. You do have halogen fog lights and the bumpers right there. And speaking of that, we do also have the chrome bumpers on the front as well with black tow hooks up there. Now, not done talking about the headlights, we do have the rain lamp headlights on the XLT trim, which means when you have your wipers on, the headlights will come on. Also, you do have auto high beams, which uh, works a lot like your automatic headlights in the sense that if it's dark enough outside, those high beams will come on. 
if you're approaching a vehicle or you're in the city lights, it's going to automatically turn it off. Now, as a feature, you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Um, and then front tow hooks, we do have also, uh, not seeing it here, but you do have the uh, roof markers or clearance lights, as some people like to call them. They're going to be LED for any of your dualies. That'll be standard on your F-350 and F-450 dualies. Now, moving around to the side, I uh, thought I was going to take a break, but <laughs> go around to the side over here. You'll see uh, different wheels depends on the configuration you have. So single reel wheels, whether it be your F-250 or F-350, will come with an 18-inch sparkle silver painted cast aluminum wheel. So pretty nice looking wheel. You do have a bright uh, chrome, um, bright kind of finish to the hub covers as well as the center ornaments as well. Um, the dualies, uh, your F-350 dualies, I should say, will be a 17-inch Ar argent painted steel wheel. Uh, hub covers and ornaments will not be included on those dualies, on the F-350 dually. F-450 will come with a 19 and a half inch forged polished alloy wheel with a bright hub cover and center ornaments. Uh, the inner wheels uh, will be steel on the uh, both of the dualies. Uh, just so you know that uh, that's what you're going to get. You're already getting steel on the F450s, uh, but on those uh, or the 350 dualies, but on the 450, those inner wheel on the back will be a steel wheel instead of the aluminum on those. You would get a manual locking hub up here uh, for all your course. These are all four by fours. All your four by fours. You also get four wheel disc brakes with ABS tire pressure monitoring system for all of your single rear wheels as well as your f-350 dually so all 250s and 350s will get a tire pressure monitoring system for your mirrors you will see they are a trailer tow mirror uh, manual folding uh, mirror you get power and heat on the glass so you can adjust it as well as you're going to get the heat feature the spot the blind spot mirror so the angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot as well you can see the turn signal indicator on the outside of the mirror uh, as well. So those turn signal lights are on the outside. Nice big fender vent over here. Uh, they made it longer, wider uh, airflow in to kind of help cool it off. Uh, so that's a reason it's a little bit bigger this year. Also, you do have black door handles. Uh, as you can see on the XLT trim, you get remote keyless entry, allow you to get in and out. 4x4 bedside decal as well back here. Standard 4x4 on these, don't forget. Privacy glass in the back windows and back glass as well. You'll notice the uh, now we have these uh, steps on the bed. Uh, so that's going to be standard equipment on this. Also, you see it on the back over here on the bumper too. Uh, speaking of the rear, you do have a, a center high-mounted stoplight up here with cab lights as well up there. So you can see those, I believe, are halogens on the standard on the XLT. Also, you get uh, up here the uh, moldings for the top of the bed and the top of the tailgate back here, too, as well as molded in black uh, handle back here. Rear view camera as well coming out of the right by that handle back there. Uh, you do get a removable tailgate with power lock. It'll work with your keyless entry. Um, and then also your bumper back here is going to be a chrome rear bumper, just like the front bumper with the black molded in on the top of that. You get trailer sway control. In fact, you get trailer tow package with this. So you're going to get 7-pin and 4-pin wiring with the receiver hitch. It's trailer sway control as well. Uh, for all of your uh, 250s and your single rear wheel F-350s, you are going to get a 2.5-inch built Ford Tough trailer hitch receiver. And then on your duallys, you have 450s and your F, uh, or F-450s and dually F-350s. Um, you are going to get the three inch built Ford tough trailer hitch receiver as well so just keep that in mind trailer brake control also is going to come standard equipment with these you will get a spare tire and wheel it's going to be up located underneath the frame under there you do get inside the bed you get it four tie down hooks as well as the box link is standard on the xlt with four lockable cleats in the vehicle so uh, that's all of our exterior features now let's move to the interior. Now talking about the interior features, we'll first talk about the interior color. Only option here for you is the medium dark slate interior here. Uh, as you can see with this image here, you do get the, for the seats, you're going to be, uh, actually first talking about the car, the flooring. It is, it does look like it's got vinyl flooring, but that's, I think you're pulling that over from the XL trim. Your uh, flooring on this is going to be carpeted flooring with carpeted mats. Regular cab will come with the two carpeted mats. Super cab and, and crew cab will come with carpet mats in the front as well as in the rear. Uh, for your seating configuration there, you can see it'll be cloth seating surfaces when you go the XLT trim. 40-20-40 uh, split front seat. You can see that middle 20% does fold down, gives you two cup holders in there, as well as storage 
uh, on the armrest too uh, for you. Uh, and you can force put that back into place there. And then under that 20% uh, seat cushion itself, you do have under seat lockable storage as well under there. So you can put some things in there and lock it up if you need to. Uh, your driver's seat will be eight way power driver's seat standard equipment with power lumbar there. Super cab on the back. Now this, we're looking at the super crew here or the crew cab, I mean. Super cab will be a 60-40 split uh, bench seat. Uh, fold up means that seat cushion can fold up towards the back. Uh, on the crew cab, you can do that as well with that. You can fold that up. Also, the backrest can come fold down as well uh, for you for that the back. Um, and then you three head restraints on the uh, crew cab version. Doesn't mention it in the order guide about on the super cab. Um, so, but anyway, um, and then back here in the back, you will have a 400 watt outlet on the back of the floor console. If you have a, a floor console, uh, available, uh, we'll talk about the front here in just a little bit. Um, but, uh, cause console is optional for you, uh, but it will be back there, uh, for your jack. You have a three ton mechanical jack for your F250s and F350 single rear wheels. All your dualies will come with a four ton hydraulic jack as well. Uh, usually it's located in under here. Uh, for you so you can get to that um, now moving to this shot here we do have power windows and power locks power windows the front windows will be one touch uh, up and down which means you just hard press it they'll go down hard press it up they'll go up you don't have to hold it for those front windows power locks will get an auto lock and unlock feature so it means when you start moving automatically lock the doors and then on the unlock when you uh, let go of it and open it you start opening the, the driver's door it automatically unlocks the rest of the doors Steering wheel is a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Just pull the lever under there. It'll go up and down, forward and back for you. Uh, polyurethane, uh, or a black urethane, I should say. Steering wheel uh, with redundant audio controls on here. You also have cruise control on the steering wheel and controls for the 4.2-inch productivity screen. You can see right through there with the speedometer and tack uh, that are on there as well. Uh, you will have uh, a keyed start for that, and then you do get electronic shift on the fly as well so you're going to see that right down in here um, actually let me go to this view here we don't have 360 view yet on this drive mode switch is going to be right there along with your two high four high four low right there you can see integrated trailer brake controller as well standard equipment as we mentioned earlier when we talked about the tow package right there too um, you do if your air conditioning is a single zone manual climate control here you all also have for your stereo am fm stereo mp3 player with four speakers for the regular cab seven speakers for the super cab and crew cab uh, sync 4 standard equipment so that's the new upgraded sync 4 system eight inch touchscreen the uh, wireless android auto and apple carplay uh, of course bluetooth connectivity digital owner's manual is going to be uh, in there as well uh, some great features. The auto or the mirror up here is electronic or electrochromatic self dimming. So that means it's going to automatically dim it if cars come up behind you with those bright lights. Overhead console will be a door, dual storage bin with map lights. The visors will be cloth on these, unlike the XL. Driver and passenger will have an uncovered mirror on the back side of those as well. Uh, and down here, you will see plenty of, of course, PowerPoints, a couple PowerPoints in here, USB ports as well for you. A 110 outlet up here. it will be standard equipment for you on the dash, on the drive, on the passenger side over here. And also get 4Pass Connect. So that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the 4Pass app. Free app you download. Um, and you can just go ahead and unlock and lock the vehicle from anywhere. Remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Schedule remote start times even. See the tire pressure on your on your vehicle. Fuel that's on your vehicle. Even where the vehicle is located using that free app. Um, that doesn't cost you anything just by downloading it and connecting your vehicle to the app. Now, before we get into some of the different uh, packages that are available, let's talk about some of the, uh, the engines and axles are, that are available. Uh, I kind of already talked about this a little bit here. Um, but we are going to be uh, talking a little bit more about it. So on the your standard engine, of course, we talked about already on the um, the XLT 250s and the 350s are the seven point is a 7.3 liter. Now you can on all three of those configurations upgrade to either one of these other two diesel engines. So if you want to, you can see ten thousand dollars to go to the 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel engine or the new high output. Power Stroke diesel engine that is $12,500 to go to those on F-250s or either the two F-350, F uh, single rear wheel, or the dually. Now, in the F-450, it's going to come standard in the 6.7 liter Power Stroke, but on that one, you can upgrade to the high output Power Stroke for $2,500 more 
for your F450. So keep that in mind. Those are your different optional engines. Now, I want to talk about these axle ratios here uh, just to kind of get some things clarified here for you. Now, talking a little bit about, uh, they're, basically, these are all the same as they are on the XL because it really has to do with the cab configuration that you have and your motors that are available. So on your F250s, uh, the uh, standard um, gear ratio you're going to have, as you can see with this one, is the 373 non-limited slip axle is going to be standard equipment on all your F250s with the 7.3 liter. Now, for those with a diesel engine, um, the standard gear ratio is going to be the 331 non-limit slip uh, gear ratio, which would be this one right here. That's going to be standard on your diesels for your F250s. And it's the same way for your F350 single rear wheel on those as well. So your, um, your as you can see here, your uh, 331 non-limit slip for your diesel engines on that configuration as well. And then also, um, but then the difference is on an F350 single rear wheel, you're going to get the electronic locking 373, which is this down here. Uh, if you do have the 73 on the super on the F350 single rear wheel, and we're talking about the F350 dually though, uh, gets a little bit different. You do go with a 355 non-limited slip uh, on your gas engines. So that there is right now that 355. As you can see, uh, it's down here. The electronic locking is down here, but the non-limited or the non-limited slip one is not in here that's because that is not available until job two and that's going to start in the spring of 2023 so if you're wanting that configuration so if you're looking at the diesel unless you go with the high output uh then you're going to have to go you have to wait until job two to get that so keep that in mind there uh also the 7.3 on the uh, f350 dually is going to come with that limited slip 373 so that that's uh in that case uh, you're going to have that one now on your all your 450s they're going to be the same we talked about that 430 limited slip is what's going to be uh, available now you can also upgrade to these optional ones electronic locking will be available as optional equipment you could see the prices on those there for you uh, but those are going to be always available as optional equipment for you now, as we start talking about some packages, um, um, we pre-recorded some of these packages already when we did the XL video, but we got a couple that are specific to the XLT. So let's talk about the XLT Premium Package. Now, this package, for the life of me, I cannot get it to come up on the build and price, so you may not see it either. Um, it is available and optional on all XLTs. Uh, doesn't uh, you know? Doesn't matter on the cab configuration. Well, the only cab configurations uh, the order guide showing is that it does require you to have the super cab or the crew cab. Uh, which we actually have that selected um but it does not uh you can get it on the f250 350 or even the f450 as well single or dually uh you just has to be super cab or crew cab now it does require to have the sport appearance package which we're going to talk about next uh with this to get this package on there but let's talk about what's included in this package because this package also includes a couple other packages we're going to talk about too so two packages that are including this is a 360 degree camera package again we'll talk about that here uh just after the sport appearance package um, but also comes with the um f the f250 greater than 10k gvwr package so those both those packages are going to be included in this plus some other features so let's talk about the other features that are included you get the bliss that's a blind spot information system with cross traffic alert and trailer coverage which means bliss is blind spot information system if there's someone in your blind spot puts a light in the corner of that mirror and lets you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time if you're backing up cross traffic alert it's going to alert you as well and you're backing up someone's going to cross your path that there's someone there series of tones you don't need to back up and it puts a message on your dash if they come from the left or the right and also include that with the bliss includes the trailer coverage too so if the blind spot of the trailer they're there they can put a light in the corner of that mirror as well you also get front heated seats with this package which as you can see why it's a very popular package because uh, you get that you also upgrade your mirrors you get power folding with auto fold, power scope, and power, that means power telescoping and power folding for your trailer tow mirror. Still get the power glass and the heat, turn signal indicator. Now you get the high intensity LED security approach lamp as well that lights up the ground beside the vehicle. Also get LED spotlight mirrors as well. So really upgrades the mirror feature quite a bit with this package. Also, you get reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, not only going to be able to see behind you, alerts you if you get close to anything, and even has reverse brake assist. If you're not paying attention, you're not braking, it'll kind of brake for you, kind of like the pre-collision assist does on the front. 
B&O Audio Sound System here. This is where you uh, um, upgrade to the B&O, the Bang & Olufsen with HD radio, eight speakers, including a subwoofer. So up increases it quite a bit there. Um, and then you also get intelligent access with push button start. So this is where you don't have a key start. So you just walk up with a key fob in your hand or in your pocket. You put your hands in a door handle, automatically unlock the vehicle, lighting it in and out and even push button start so you don't have to get that key out to start the vehicle either also with that you get remote start on the remote so certain proximity you don't have to pull the app out you can actually remote start it using the uh, remote also remote tailgate release so even on the xlt you can release that tailgate and let it drop down using the remote also upgrades gives you series xm satellite radio with the new 360l so you're going to get that three months uh, for free. Uh, you'll have to sign up for a subscription after that, but you'll have the hardware for that. And upgrades the Sync 4 to the enhanced voice recognition system. This gets you the conversational uh, command words and such, like the OK Forward, uh, you know, OK Forward Pass and such, to go ahead and turn that on and listen for that. Also uh, gives you the built-in, the connected built-in navigation system as well so that means you're going to have the navigation i believe for the first six uh, for the first three years with the with the built-in navigation system so uh, three for, uh, free service of that for the first three years uh and you'll get the information on demand because you'll have the nice big 12 inch touchscreen when you go to this package so this is a, a you can tell it's a big package uh don't have the cost here in front of me it's not on the build and price here yet uh for some reason but the XLT Premium Package, very popular package, uh, really almost gives you kind of almost a Lariat feel there without having to go to the leather seats and all the way up to the Lariat trip. Let's talk about the XLT or the Sport Appearance Package, which is actually available in the XLT and the Lariat trim. Uh, this does require a Super Cab or Crew Cab and single rear wheel let me just check my notes single rear wheel only on this so not available with your f350 dually or f450 but available on f250 and f350 single rear wheel here so this uh, this package here is uh it's this is not shown on the building price either uh, i don't know what's going on here with ford uh, but that's not available on here what's funny is when i select the certain wheel that's on, available here you'll notice it it does have the uh, sport appearance package no picture of the wheel <laughs> yet which is probably why it's not there but um so if you do that also it gives you that upgraded mirror that we talked about as part of the xlt premium package so on this package here uh does require you to go to the xlt premium package for this one here so you do have to upgrade to the package we just talked about to get the sport appearance package and also you do have to upgrade and get the uh the rear defrost with the rear privacy glass so you will have to add the rear defrost to the back window to add the sport appearance package so what's included in this one here and um i don't have any pictures of this but soon hopefully the website will update you will get an upgraded grill so you're going to be a black painted grill with the sport package so instead of the chrome up there you're going to get the black so actually you're not seeing my screen so there we go so instead of the black uh, or the chrome up there you're going to get a painted black so it won't be that molded in it'll be painted black where that chrome is on there for that front grill also your bumpers front and rear bumpers are going to go from chrome to body colored bumpers so in this case it is carbonized gray that's what you'll get also your mirror caps on uh, oh that's only lariat only sorry let me take that off my list here <laughs> that is not a lariat only so mirrors and your caps will stay the same your box side decal over here will actually go from that four by four it'll say sport four by four uh for those unless you have the fx4 package um that always will say fx4 instead also you'll get a the fender badge which you can't really see a good image of this this fender badge instead of being chrome it's going to get a dark fender badge right there um, and then also you're going to get black tow hooks, which I already get on those. Uh, you will also get the platform running boards. It's not showing it on this image here, but you will also get platform running boards on there. Chrome exhaust tip as well. So that's usually come out on the passenger side. Chrome exhaust tip. So it kind of put a chrome cap on those. Um, and the wheel, you're not seeing it here. 18 inch ebony black painted alloy wheel is also going to be included. Uh, with this and then of course upgraded all-terrain tires to go along with that too um, and then also you're going to uh, um, include it on the xlt uh, as well and part of this package is you're getting the led box lighting so it lights up the bed as well so you're gonna uh, two little lights inside the bed that lights it up so that's gonna be included in this package 
Also, you're going to get an LED center high mounted stoplight up here. Uh, it's the back of the cab light. Also, get upgraded from halogen to LED fog lights and upgraded to LED headlights or reflector lamps as well. So, can't really tell that it's upgraded that or not. Uh, so, you get LED there as well. And you're going to get rear underseat storage as well on the crew cab versions. So, that's going to be available as well. And then, as optional equipment, you can upgrade to these uh, 20 inch wheels. Uh, as well as part of the sport appearance package. Still didn't change the image. Anyway, they got a little work to do on this. We're pretty early, I guess, on this. But 20 inch dark carbonized gray, uh, high gloss painted alloy wheel is optional uh, for you. And also, of course, upgraded to the 20 inch all terrain tires that goes along with that. So that is optional for you. And that's why you see those different things there. But again, hopefully, they'll get the building price up soon so you can see what this looks like on this brand new uh, upgraded refresh version uh, for the outside so you can see what that looks like. But Sport Appearance Package, again, just a kind of preference, is available on your single rear wheel F250s and F350s. Does require the XLT Premium Package and the rear defrost on the back glass uh, for this, uh, available on Super Cab and Crew Cab only. Now let's talk about the Tremor Off-Road Package. This is available on XLT on above, uh, other than Limit, of course. And this trimmer off-road package uh, does show you some requirements. So a couple things to keep in mind that it is not available with, and this is not available on your eight-foot bed. So not available with the dualies, um, and not available with your single rear wheel eight-foot beds, and not available with the rear stabilizer bar. So you can also see here some of these requirements here on the screen. Uh, does uh, come with uh, the four by four. It comes with the um, in either the seven point three liter gas engine or the six point seven high output power stroke diesel engine. So not available with the uh, standard diesel engine. You have to go up to high output. Also requires crew cab configuration as well. So what's included with this? For your gas 7.3 liter engine, you're gonna get the 430 electronic locking final drive ratio. On the diesel high output, you're gonna uh, come with the 355 electronic locking uh, final drive ratio there. You are gonna get upgraded to the 35 inch off-road tires. Uh, so. Better traction, of course, so nice big tires. 18-inch machine and tarnished dark anized, well, anodized or whatever that's called, uh, low-gloss painted alloy wheels. I do like these. Uh, they're not a high-gloss, more of a low-gloss, so really uh, nice. So hopefully will help from some, too much of that dirt and uh, such collecting on those wheels. You will get upgraded as well. As part of this, you're going to get that 250 on, on the 250s, this is. Uh, you're gonna get that 10K GVWR package included in here. You do get lane departure warning, which means that if you are gonna leave your lane, it's gonna alert you uh, by right ring the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. You also get unique front springs, so it increases that ride height for you. Uh, also, you're gonna get the rear locking differentials, which we already kind of talked about that. Uh, you get front limited slip differential. Uh, you will get performance front and rear shocks on this. On uh, the off-road running boards as well, nice textured matte finish. Love those. I kind of I like to call them the Raptor running boards. Uh, it does get you the skid plates underneath to help protect it for the transfer case, fuel tank, and such. You will get a unique air dam on the front, so it's reduced, so it could help for that increased approach angle for you. Water fording vent tubes are also going to be included for your transfer case and axle, and you're going to get the rock crawl mode. So very uh, very few times will you see this mode. You're going to get it, see it on the Raptor. You're going to get it on this uh, package here. So a lot of people like that trimmer package. Rock crawl mode. Also get trail control. I always call that cruise control for the trail. It'll keep that speed from 0 to 19 miles an hour while you can just kind of take care of the steering there for you. Uh, also the trimmer off-road decal. It can be orange here on the side. Kind of see it there a little bit on that image. And you also can get the, there you go. Oop, tried to make it a little bit bigger, but it didn't work here. Okay. Exit out of that. There we go. Um, go back into this. Sorry about that. Try to get a closer image there. Also for the uh, trimmer off-road decal, uh, black and gray with the sport on it. Uh, if you have the sport package, I'd assume. And then also you do have the conventional road wheel uh, for the spare. And then uh, you will hit, the, and the spare tire will be an 18 inch uh, as well for that. So a little bit different look there. You can upgrade to get the uh, available power running boards. I believe that's on the Lariat and above models. Um, so again, down here, not available with the eight foot bed 
uh, or the dually or the rear stabilizer bar. So $43.75 for that package. And that is available on the XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum Editions. Now we're going to talk about some more packages. And uh, a lot of these uh, were the same on a lot of these different trims. So I just pre-recorded them on the XL video. And so I'm going to play them as we go through this uh, one at a time. But I kind of want to kind of introduce you into those. And keep in mind, this first one we're going to talk about is the uh, 360 degree camera package. Uh, this package here is, don't forget, is included in your XLT premium package, which also is required, that pack is required for the sport appearance package. So this, this would also be included in the sport appearance package as well. And so let's go ahead and uh, show you that clip as well as the rest of the clips of the different optional equipment packages. Let's talk about the 360 degree camera package. Um, as, it see, as you see there, this package is standard on a Lariat King Ranch Platinum and Limited is available on the XL and XLT. Uh, so this does require on the XL the driver assistance package as well. So this in here is going to give you the 360 degree camera. So you can see completely around the vehicle. As you can see in the left over in that picture right there, you can see all the way around you. Also, you're going to get one bigger view for uh, the front or backup camera there. Also, you can see here it does mention the trailer 360 camera uh capabilities uh and the wiring for that as well so part of job two is going to be having to be able to do the 360 degree view of the trailer itself new technology for this year that's being introduced into the uh, super duty so if you're wanting that capability that is a job too so it'll be available in spring so you will make sure if you want that you can configure your vehicle add this to it but it won't be available until uh, with that feature until job two. So you want to make sure your dealership leaves that as a party 99 so it does not be looked at for scheduling if you really want this part of this package. Uh, if you don't care about that, then go ahead and add this package and then, you, then it just won't have those capabilities. So keep that in mind. Also, you do have the Bliss with cross traffic alert uh, and the Bliss with the trailer coverage. So uh, basically it's gonna monitor the blind spot of your of, uh, the, the vehicle. So if there's a vehicle in your blind spot, it's put to light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, if you have a trailer, it's gonna uh, monitor the blind spot of the trailer. And then also you do have the cross traffic alert. So if you're backing up, someone crossed your path behind you, it's gonna alert you as well. Putting that light in the corner of that mirror, message on there, and a series of tones that you it's not safe to back up. Also, you get the rear parking sensors with reverse sensing with brake assist. So uh, as you're backing up, it's going to alert you if you get close to anything. And if you don't stop, don't pay attention, it's going to uh, brake the vehicle for you. And also upgrades the center high-mounted stoplight to an LED on the back of that cab back there. So again, this package, 1150 does require, don't forget, uh, does require a couple things. Depends on what different configuration you have. Let's talk about the FX4 off-road package. And this, this package is available on pretty much all of the different trim levels. Um, it does require the 4x4 though for you. Um, and kind of a, some other requirements here. It does have also require the all-terrain tires on the F250 and F350. And on the F450, you can see a different uh, tire uh, configuration there as well. And then also does require the electronic uh, locking differential on the single wheel wheel and limited slip axle on the dually. So you'll need to make sure you select those um, when you select the, the FX4 package. So the package includes the hill descent control, uh, which helps you out again, coming down from different hills. You know, if you're off road and such, it's very uh, nice to have that. You also get the off-road specifically tuned front and rear shock absorbers to handle the 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 you know the up and down the, the terrain that you're going to have there. They'll they'll be hold up a lot better having those off-road off-road uh, tuned front and rear shocks. Also get front uh, skid plates for the transfer case and fuel tanks to kind of protect them from any kind of punctures and such. And you're going to also get the unique FX4 off-road box decal as well. So uh, again, this pack is $4.95. Should be about the same price on all the different trim levels. And it's available for you. Now let's talk about the tow technology package. Now this package is standard on the King Ranch Platinum and Limited. But it's available on the XL, XLT, and the Lariat trims. And on the XL and XLT it does require to have the 360-degree camera package which is optional. And on the XL, 
also in, uh, requires the driver assistance package too. So keep that in mind for those. Now, what's included in this package? Now you do get the lane keeping assist uh, on this package for most of your trims. You will see here uh, the XL two wheel drives, it's not included. Now, let me talk about the lane keeping assist before I tell you which ones are, are not included here. So lane keeping assist will actually help you keep you in your lane. Um, and will also uh, give you a driver alert feature. Uh, now there is lane departure warning that you see down there that's available only XL uh, there. And that's gonna, as you leave your lane, it's gonna alert you and let you know you left your lane by vibrating the steering wheel. The assist actually keeps you in your lane. So on the XL two wheel drives, that is not, that part of it is not available. As well as an XL, XLT and Lariat four by fours with a regular cab and the super cab short bed and the dually. Um, the super cab dualies so that their feature will not be available on those configurations you also get the pro trailer backup assist you see in that picture there where he's using the dial he basically controls the trailer itself and then the steering wheel takes care of everything trailer reverse guidance also it's going to alert you and it's going to let you see the side of the trailer as you're backing up the trailer so you can see on both sides of that a little bit closer view so you can kind of see exactly what's going on over there a 925 for this package and again is available for you now let's talk about the F-250 10K GVWR package. Now this is standard on the Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and Limited, but is available as optional equipment on the XL and XLT. And just like you'd expect, it does upgrade the payload back there uh, to uh, giving you an in increase in the GVWR for heavy payload. Uh, so that is something that you might want to you know, up upgrade. A hundred dollars it looks like there to add that up there. So on your F-250s, upgrade the GVWR package, you wanna make sure that they add this to your build. Now let's talk about for your F-250s, this F-250 high capacity axle upgrade package, uh, available in the XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum, so pretty much all of them but the Limited. Um, and does require you to have one of the two diesel engines, whether it be the, uh, the standard diesel that we've been seeing or the new high output uh, power stroke diesel engine uh, requires one of those two engines. Now this is going to upgrade, as you can see there, it does give you the 11.6 inch axle upgrade. Also does give you the, F, uh, the F250 greater than 10K GVW package. Uh, so you're going to get all the features already included in that package and increases your GVWR up to 11,400 pounds. So again, this is a nice little package to have, really upgrades your payload capacity in a sense and uh, some axle ratio upgrades too. So uh, really nice uh, how that works. Uh, so real nice package. So that might be something you might wanna think about adding to your F-250s. So now let's talk about the snowplow prep package. Now this is available in about all of your trims. Does require to have four by four uh, to get this. And uh, this includes some uh, pretty cool features. So you're get the computer selected spring for the snowplow application. So again, these are people that want to plan to put that snowplow on the front. Uh, it does upgrade those springs and such uh, for a snowplow. Also upgrades your alternator. So 190 amp uh, alternator for your 6.8 liter gas and your 7.3 liter gas engines and 250 amp alternator for your 6.7 liter diesel engines. Also does give you the rapid heat supplemental cab heater for your diesel engines. And as you can see down there, if you want to upgrade on those diesel, those gas engines, you can upgrade to the 250 amp like you see on the diesels as well. Now, keep also in mind that this package is not available with your heavy service front suspension package or your trimmer off-road package, um, but it's available for you if you're, especially if you plan to uh, have a snowplow on the front, that's a great package for you to add. Now let's talk about the camper package. This cap package is available in the XL, XLT, and Lariat. Also available on the King Ranch and Platinum Dualies. So on those two vehicles, uh, that's kind of how it's separated out. If uh, just kind of help you understand that a little bit better. Uh, now this also is not available with your single rear wheel four x four. Uh, just so you know that uh, on the vehicle. So just keep that in mind too. Um, with that configuration there. Also not available with the 20 inch wheel and tires and not available with the FX4 off-road package or the trimmer off-road package. Um, Cause both of those are single rear wheel four by fours, right? Makes sense. <laughs> All right, now for this, uh, so what's included in this, you're getting upgraded extra heavy duty front springs for the two wheel drive. So two up upgrade above the springs that have been computer selected based on the on other selected options. 
Um, also on the 4x4s, you're going to get the heavy-duty front springs, a one-up upgrade on those uh, spring above what's already selected. So keep that in mind. Also, rear auxiliary springs on the F250 only, and because those are standard on the F350, and also rear stabilizer bar on the single wheel wheels. So just keep that in mind as well. So two-wheel drive, you know, like basically XL, uh, no, gets a rear stabilizer bar. So you also get a slide-in camper certification as well. So this is uh, basically meant for those that want to put a camper in the back of it. $160 for that if you want to add it. You will notice that sometimes they might actually tell you that it's might a good idea to add this package because of getting the upgraded front springs with it. So just keep that in mind if you see that notification or them recommending you to add this package. All right, let's talk about the snowplow and camper package together. This is a package available on the XL, XLT, Lariat, and King Ranch dually. So that means uh, it's basically available on the XL, XLT, Lariat, single, and dually, but on the King Ranch only as part of the snowplow, pack, pack, snowplow package and the camper package, both. So if you watch the last two clips, you got this part. So it does give you the uh, the uh, computer selected springs for the snowplow application uh, for putting the snowplow on there. Also does upgrade your alternator, 190 amp alternator for your gas engines, and two or 240 or 250 amp, I should say, alternator for the the diesel engines. Uh, also gives you auxiliary uh, uh, the rear auxiliary springs, rear stabilizer bars as well also gives you the slide in camper certification and it upgrades your front springs up one upgrade for that as well give you upgraded springs uh, and do keep in mind just like with the other packages it's not available with the trimmer off-road package or the heavy uh, service front suspension package or your 20 inch wheels so again this package uh, if, if you're wanting kind of hey i want the snowplow and the camper well they have their own package kind of saves you a little bit of money there 305 dollars for this package Now let's talk about the heavy service front suspension package. Now this package is available on all of your different trims. And uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna upgrade your front springs on the vehicle. So, you know, similar to what you did see in the snowplow prep package, uh, which is reason why it's not compatible with that. You get the upgraded front springs. And it's not also available with the trimmer off-road package. And the whole goal behind this is to upgrade those front springs if you plan to put, you know, like a heavy-duty winch on the front or brush guard or something like that. You know, you can uh, upgrade it a little bit, uh, upgrade that front suspension for you. So, again, available on any of your trims. Another package I want to talk about is the fifth wheel gooseneck hitch prep package. Uh, can't get this in the pull up on the building price either. Uh, now this package here uh, is available uh, on it's standard on the limited uh, and standard on your F450s, but is also optional on your XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum. Uh, trims if you want to add this package to them. Um, just so you know, not available with your bed mat or your drop-in bed liner for you. Uh, so what's going to be included in this? You're going to get five pickup bed attachment points for plugs, or with plugs, I should say. So you're going to have attachments. So this is going to basically going to be uh, ready to go. If you want to put a fifth wheel in it or a gooseneck, you're going to have that capability. So it's going to have four holes, in a sense, pre-drilled for you to be able to put the fifth wheel hitch in there and also a center one for your gooseneck and for your hooks, uh, for, for those hooks there. And also it's gonna give you the wiring in the bed. So it's, you're gonna get all that in there, seven pin wiring um, already attached to the sidewall there. And this it really allows you to upgrade. So now it does not include, so this is a prep package, does not include the fifth wheel hitch and does not include the gooseneck hitch. So you'll have to add those as optional equipment but you'll need to have this package included too as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, this really kind of upgrades. It allows you to be able to do, uh, to be able to pull and, and haul more. Um, and again, you can upgrade with the, the Reese um, fifth wheel hitch uh, kit that's available and the gooseneck hitch uh, that's available. Uh, so you'll definitely want to make sure you uh, check that out and check out all the different capabilities and the uh, numbers for you if you're wanting to add this package to your truck. So now we're going to talk about the uh, options, standalone options. Now those are all packages. Now we're going to talk about standalone options, and uh, we're going to actually start up here. Uh, it's not showing here because we don't have the, um, the the correct configuration set here. But if you do have the F350 dual rear wheel, uh, we did talk about the standard wheel being a 17-inch Argent painted steel wheel. Uh, you can also upgrade the optional 17-inch forged polished aluminum wheel with a bright 
uh, hub covers and ornament center ornaments. So that is available for you. Of course, the inner wheels on the the back will be do, will be steel if you go that route. But that is an option for you as well. Um, the other wheel options already talked about um, where part of packages um, and do require a package if you go with the 20 inch optional wheel, which we kind of talked about on this one here. So there's all your uh, the wheel options for you. And we're going to talk about and go uh, down through here. Let's talk about these different mirror options. So this mirror here is part of that package we talked about. Uh, so uh, I got my notes here. I'll make sure we cover everything. Because um, on this wheel uh, or this mirror here, um, if I can find it here, this mirror here is optional. So it's, it's part of that package we talked about earlier, but it's also a standalone option. So if you don't want that full package, then you can get this mirror. So it's still that power folding, power scope, trailer tow mirror with the high intensity LED spotlights uh, or, or security approach lamp and the spotlights on the outside. So that mirror option is available as optional as a standalone option if you don't get that package there. So don't forget about that. Also, this platform running board here is also a standalone option. It is included in that same package. You know what? We need to probably go up here and choose this wheel so we get rid of that package. Even though the package isn't showing, the wheel is part of that package. Is. There we go. So now you can see that this mirror isn't selected and is available as a standalone option, as well as the price for those platform running boards as well 445 if you want to add those as optional equipment and you also do have um oops, just wrote on my desk uh, you also do have this other running board that's available 695 for a six inch angular bright uh step bar there that is also available for you if you want to add that to your vehicle there um, so that's also optional and does require though for this running board uh, just so you know the step bar does require the super cab or the crew cab configuration to order that that board there so keep that in mind when you're looking at that too now we're going to talk about the rest of these options some of these are ford accessory options and i'm not going to talk about them because i recommend you not get them on your vehicle and you get them later so you can go over there and look at these if you want to we're just going to cover the things that our factory installed options you'd want to make sure you add to your order from the factory now if you add these others keep in mind could slow up your production of your vehicle or getting scheduled for production because uh, they can only build them so fast with those because a lot of those have to go off site and have these things put on them like those these these toolboxes and splash cards and such a lot of these things again you can get through ford accessories i reckon you get it later now first one down here tailgate step 375 for that it gives you the step and it gives you the handle so this is available for you tailgate step um does is, is available in any of your cab configurations uh and such uh moving on down bed covers again stay away from those uh, unless you want to hold up your builds uh drop in bed liner isn't actually listed on here it's it is a ford accessory one shouldn't hold up your build too much uh, spray and bed liner is holding up your builds quite a bit. Uh, it did last year. I ex assume it will then again this year, and that is available. And that's actually showing as a key exterior option, uh, but not the drop-in liner. But again, I would I try to get it, find a place later you can get it if you want to. Bed mats and accessory. I wouldn't worry about that. The individual uh, trailer TPMS. I actually didn't see that listed on mine. I believe that's also listed as an accessory. Uh, yeah, it's down here as an accessory. And it's something that, you know, uh, you know, you might want to think about getting. That allows you to uh, kind of individually uh, monitor the tire pressure on those, your trailer tires. Now, that's something a lot of people like. That is something you probably could put on your vehicle. Shouldn't hold it up if you'd like to do that. Uh, power sliding rear window with the rear defrost. Now, we do also have an option with the rear defrost by itself. Remember earlier, we talked about a couple packages that required that. I believe it's a sport appearance package. There's that that one there is the defrost for the rear window, $60 for that. But if you want to go with the power sliding rear window with rear defrost, 405, you should be able to do that with that package as well uh, if you want to add that. So those are two options for you. Uh, I believe the power sliding rear window, yes, does require at least super cab or the crew cap so that will be available on the regular cap though so keep that in mind we will liners again those are aftermarket things you'd want to get and the accessories through your dealer can get that for you if you want don't think they're holding up builds but last year actually last year it did hold up super duty builds with these so i would recommend holding off on that retractable uh bed sidestep um don't know about this one here um it is not showing on the order guide unless it's under accessories probably could have this added but you have a step here and a step back here don't know if it's really needed in my opinion uh, but that is really up to you but i believe that's a ford accessory 
add-on if you want. Um, yes, it is a rear quarter bed step. Um, again, um, you know that is available. That actually positioned right back here, I believe, where it was last year, uh, right behind the wheel before you get to the bumper. That's where that's located. Again, you can add that. Again, that's an accessory under the accessory. But if you want to get it, uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get it on your build if you want if you're thinking about getting that. Now we do have uh, the already got did a video did a clip on the prep package. They put it under all the uh, standalone options, but again. Um, you know that's under its own that's a, even called package on there now if you do now don't forget if you do get that hitch prep package you do also to get the gooseneck hitch that is a standalone option that's a separate standalone option 250 gives you the 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 ball that goes in there and the the hooks and such and the brackets for that so there's your gooseneck hitch and that is an accessory as well you can get that through accessories you don't have to get it from the factory Twin panel moonroof is something you'd probably want to get from the factory. So that is going to be different, not be able to be installed later. Um, not actually showing it on my uh, list here. But yes, that is something you'd want to get from the factory. Um, so I believe that requires the crew cab configuration on the XLT as well as the Lariat trim. So you will want to get that. Also does require the sport appearance package too uh, on the XLT. So keep that in mind if you're wanting the twin panel moonroof. Uh, and then you do have this um, four performance worn winch. That is, again, that's an accessory. Get it on if you want to. $3,000 for that. You can get that later. Engine block heaters are definitely a factory installed option. You'd want to make sure you have and add that to your vehicle if you want it. So engine block heater keeps that engine cooled off. Uh, plug it into your house so it can start a little bit faster the next day. Uh, remote start is a standalone option. It's included in the XLT premium package, um, but also you can add this uh, as well if you want to go with that. Uh, that too, that is not listed under the um, the key exterior options here, so it must be listed under accessories, but you can get that as well. Shouldn't hold up your builds. The, the, um, right here, you have your PTO, so transmission power takeoff provision. Uh, you'd want to order that from the factory, I would recommend. Uh, again, available on any cab configurations with that as well. Um, we do have the exterior backup alarm. And as an accessory, I wouldn't probably get it on your build. Shouldn't hold it up if you want to uh, from the factory. $150 for that. Uh, moving down, you do have reverse sensing systems only shown. It's only included as part of packages. It isn't something you can get as optional equipment. Now, the amps, or the alternators, I should say, you can upgrade. As you can see, it's optional equipment. If you want, if you have a gas engine, you can upgrade to the 240, 250 amp. We know that the diesels come standard with the 250 amp here. Uh, also, you do have a four, uh, 410 amp dual alternator as well. Uh, you can upgrade to that as well if you'd like to. Uh, these uh, beacons down here are the warning strobes. You do have two different options, two different, two ambers, or an amber and a white uh, that are available. Uh, those you probably want to get from the factory if you'd like those on your build. And then the clearance lamps, we know though, or the LED uh, roof markers or clearance lights, some people like to call them. That is a standard on your dualies, but you can get on the single rear wheel if you want as a stand standalone option. I'd get it from the factory if you're thinking about getting that. Definitely uh, something to think about. Uh, making sure you get that if you like it on your build. So there you go. And then also the, um, just looking at my notes here, making sure I'm getting everything covered. Um, yep, there it is. So, and then you have the LED box lighting is also available for you. LED box lighting, uh, of course, lights up. It is included in that uh, one of those packages, but also is a standalone option if you'd like to. It lights up that bed really nice. Uh, that's pretty cheap for that. I'd, I'd recommend getting that on yours and getting it done from the factory that way. So those are your exterior options, but a couple things that are not on there that I do want to highlight. Um, actually, I think they're down here on the interior. So let's go ahead and go through your interior options, and if I miss anything, we'll catch it at the end. Now, moving to your interior options down here, we do have an option. The first one is for the console. So if you want to click on that one, it's probably not even showing images on this one here, and we'll update this. Nope, it doesn't. So some of these pictures aren't available, but if you want to go with this, $300 to get the uh, bucket seats basically with the console. So this is the full console, unlike the one for the XL. So this gets you the console in between there. Um, and if you go with this console, that you're going to get standard equipment on the XLT is an outlet on the back of the console to go along with the one on your dash. So that is available for you if you want to add that 
Definitely think about that. All weather mats are an aftermarket ad. They, they haven't been holding up builds, but you know it's really up to you. You can always get it and have it ready for, for at your dealer. Dual battery, as again, that is available here as a standalone option, especially on your gas engines. Um, it is um, included in your diesel engines, but available on your 7.3 liter if you want. It does require the dual alternator if you add that to your build. So keep that in mind. Pro Power on board, two kilowatt this year. Available 985 for that. If you want to put that in there, show an image. Click the eye. You can see images of this stuff. See what that looks like. Uh, you can see there it does require the dual battery. So you want to make sure you add that if you get this on your build. Um, does also remove the underseat storage on the XLT uh super cabs so keep that in mind too if you add that to yours uh, pro power on board new for this year so pretty cool on having that um and then available either any of the cab configurations but on those uh, super cab does require you to add to uh, take away some storage into your work surface so this is pretty cool is available for you on any of your uh, configurations does require the 40 20 40 split bench seat you can see that image over there to the side see what that looks like allows you to be able to pull that out and even rotate it in towards you so pretty cool on that so that is also available for you um, you do also have the the console fold is an aftermarket ad not that difficult for a dealership to to, to install or yourself if you want uh, upfitter switches something we'd probably want to get from the factory if you want that so install that uh, available on any of your uh, xl xlt and lariat trims um, so there you go. That is something you can add and it's going to go on your overhead console. Uh, definitely something you can get on there as a standalone option. Uh, I think we've covered everything else here uh, for this. i just make sure I got this. Uh, Moonroof, I had it as an interior option. They showed it on the exterior. Um, and then also on uh, the floor mats is a interior factoring uh or would be thrown would be sent with your vehicle if you get that on your vehicle if you want to oh no oh, something that's not showing on here you can get a carpet delete on the xlt as well that's optional uh you might think about that if you want to get that um so we did talk about the remote start right it's a standalone option that is actually a key factory installed option if you want it um, otherwise it's going to be a little key fob that sits on the the outside of that uh, so keep that in mind um, oh, also on the upfitter switches, uh, just kind of a note in here, locating overhead console requires a 190 amp alternator, which we're going to do with standard equipment or the 250 um, uh, amp on the diesels. Um, and uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, also may uh, require you to go up on that if you go with the get that along with your outlet, your pro power on board, uh, probably will require you to upgrade your alternators as well. So keep that in mind if that's a possibility. Uh, anything else uh, the outlet and the bed we already talked about standard um, and um, think do we miss anything um, there is the a new for this year uh, Ford Pro upfit integration system that's available on the XLT that allows them to integrate things that add to the vehicle that can be programmed into the screen so that's pretty cool new for this year uh, that is also included that'd be a factory installed option if you want to add that uh, might think about getting that as well um, otherwise, I think we've covered about everything uh, that's available for you. Uh, so there you go. So I think we've got double checking three, four. Yep, got everything covered. So again, those are some great options for you uh, if you're looking for some exterior and interior options to add that are standalone options. So there you go. That's all of our uh, standard equipment. We've talked about all the different packages available and standalone options all in this video. I, I told you it'd be over an hour <laughs> and I did not let you down there. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you out. If you're looking to you know, order a uh, Super Duty, uh, you'd want to hurry up, get your orders in quickly with your local dealer. We're not taking any extra orders because we have really fulfilled all of our allocations that we're getting for did let dealers know. Based on last year's history, here's what you'd expect for allocations because this is a short run for this year for 2023 model year. It's going to run for seven months because it, it started late and it'll end probably in August, September timeframe. So uh, you want to make sure you get that order in if you're wanting to get one for this uh, for 2023. Um, and hopefully this video helps you out and gives you that information. So if it did, smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, uh, too, uh, don't forget, you can find more of our videos and information like these. And we're going to continue through all of the, the Super Duty trims for you here. 
uh, so you can get that information. So be looking for those. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time we have another video upload to our channel. And don't forget, not only having videos going live, we do a live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. here on our YouTube channel, and that way we keep you updated. So if you do have an order in, we can tell you if there's any constraints that you might consider talking to dealers about taking off or changing, if there's anything that changes on your orders, we keep you updated on that on a weekly basis on this live stream, as well as we have a live Q&A. So if you want to see, you know, if the Super Duty scheduled that week and then and ask us questions live, I can help you out and answer any questions you might have when it comes to any model, uh, whether it be, you know, the Super Duty, the Maverick, whatever it might be. We, uh, we've been having a lot of people start a live stream based on uh, information on the new product, the new uh, model Maverick. But it's also opened it up for other people to be asked their questions on any model that they want to. Uh, especially with some of the new technologies on the Super Duty, might not be a bad idea for you to check out the live stream as well. If you want to, you can follow us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And here's my Linktree account if you want to follow me there. Uh, and you can see where I'm at in different social media sites. You can do that as well. And other than that, until the next video, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.